we start by noting that z is equal to 0 is a solution of the given equation z raised to the power n minus 1 is equal to i times the conjugate of z. Now consider the case that z is not equal to 0. The given equation is z raised to the power n minus 1 is equal to i times the conjugate of z. Take the absolute value of both sides. The left hand side can be written as the absolute value of z raised to the power n minus 1. And the right hand side can be written as the absolute value of i times the absolute value of the conjugate of z. The absolute value of i is equal to 1 and the absolute value of the conjugate of z is equal to the absolute value of z. We therefore get the absolute value of z raised to the power n minus 1 is equal to the absolute value of z which implies that the absolute value of z is equal to 1. Now we go back to the original equation which is z raised to the power n minus 1 is equal to i times the conjugate of z. Multiply both sides by z. Therefore, the left hand side is equal to z raised to the power n and on the right hand side, note that z times the conjugate of z can be written as the absolute value of z square. However, we have determined above that the absolute value of z is equal to 1. Therefore, the right hand side simplifies to i. And therefore, this equation can be written as z raised to the power n is equal to i, which is an equation with n solutions. Therefore, to summarize, the given equation z raised to the power n minus 1 is equal to i times the conjugate of z has one solution which is z is equal to 0 and another n solutions from the equation z raised to the power n is equal to i none of which are z is equal to 0. Therefore, the given equation has a total of n plus 1 distinct solutions, which is the required answer.